Hey everybody, Eric with Java's Jaxi here and I'm so excited to be bringing you this new addition to my coffee bar, my barista bar for 2022. It's around my shoulder, it's right there. It's the Eureka Oro Single Dose Grinder, the SDG for short. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, there are already a lot of reviews out there from this machine. Uh, there's, there's some positive, there are some negative. I have some things already to say about this machine. Now, I'm not gonna give you a full review of this machine, whether you should or shouldn't be buying this for your own setup, your own routine. However, I'm going to give you my, my first impressions at least, and over the course of, of at least a month, I'll, I'll be working this over a little bit and try to get you a full review as to how it's kind of panned out over that course of time. Now, I will go over some of those quirks, like I said, the things I really like about it over the things I don't. Just to kind of give you a rundown, I also sport a 75, uh, the Atom 75 right behind me, as well as the fellow Ode. We're going to exclude the coffee portion of this today. We're not going to make this the universal uh, grinder that it's supposed to be with it being able to do pour overs all the way down to espresso and even the Turkish uh, grind. However, we'll kind of focus on the espresso a little bit. I've already zeroed it in. I already have some things to say, as I said. I'll give you those as the video continues. However, if you have any questions, feel free to visit me on Instagram. It's Java's Jaxi or on YouTube, same thing, Java's Jaxi. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to follow us, whatever platform you wanna follow us on, and for great reviews, as well as the awesome Roaster Spotlight, we're gonna be featuring some new uh, coffee roasters in the near future here, uh, and, and talk to those roasters, those businesses, local businesses as well, uh, around my city and, and around, hopefully, yours, and maybe something that you, you might actually appreciate and go visit a little bit more often. But let's go and get into this right now, the the SDG. One of the things I've already noticed a lot of people say and talked about is how noisy this grinder really is. I had a Eureka Mignon um, Note, which was just a regular grinder. It wasn't the Silencio and it wasn't uh, the, the Specialita. Um, it was just simply the grinder. It was about $249 here in the US. It did what it did, and this kind of reminds me of it, but besides the chrome and of course some of the the features that I, I don't know why they kind of left on, which was the push button start that's still there, and of course the fork uh, area where you would place that for the port filter. Some of the things that have been mentioned about this machine include the sticker up here. I've seen a few people actually um, say that it stabbed him because the sticker itself came up. I don't know what's going on with some people and why they're they're feeling like this is coming off. If you if you keep on prodding at it and eventually kind of push on it, I, I suppose your oils from your your coffee and your, your fingers are, are going to probably loosen up some of that adhesive on this on the sticker right here. Um, I've not had any problems with it. I've touched it. The only gripe I might have about this entire machine is how it's not completely smooth. You can see some of this edge right here that goes into the body of it this right here is actually kind of rough and it could catch your skin now again you're not doing this on a regular basis I'm only doing it because I wanted to kind of see what people might be saying and yeah it is a little rough if I were to push it just a little bit with some force and actually touch it uh, it actually smooths out quite a bit so I'm not sure whether this is just the right kind of force that it was kind of mounted in and then kind of sealed it's not a killer here, it's not even an issue. It's just one of those things that I've noticed. Um, besides that, the knob itself feels good. It doesn't have the issue where I've seen people talk about how it's not giving the full resistance. I've had no problem with it. Would I like to see Eureka create a wheel here that would actually tell you how many turns you've already gone and kind of have like a little number system down here where it's kind of like, oh, you made one turn, two turns, three turns. Don't know why that doesn't exist yet. Uh, maybe it's something that they've thought about, it doesn't work, but I'd love to see like a little number, uh, like a little a little uh, carving right here with a little number notch that's kind of turning with it. So this way, if you did want to make uh, pour over any other kind of, uh, kind of uh, ground for a coffee, you could always go back to your original. Right now, right now I have it set to about a seven. How many turns that is, I couldn't tell you. Um, I, I think I counted maybe five or six on that turn uh, knob before I got to that seven. That's where I feel is good right now. I'm getting roughly around uh, 29, 30 seconds uh, for about 36 grams of, of espresso on my Rocket Apartamento. So everything feels good at the moment. 
So there you have it. I didn't go into a horrible amount of detail or even show you a grind quite yet. I, I am going to wait and uh, make that part of the final review when I do give this about a month from now or so. Um, so far, I'm going to tell you my, my opinion, uh, whether some people uh, might not agree with it or not. I have not experienced the same issue that some people have had so far with this machine. Some of the biggest gripes that I heard and, and kind of worried me were the amount of vibration that it gives off, the bellows not working perfectly fine, uh, and, and some of the retention. Uh, the whole idea of this being a single dose grinder, uh, the retention was kind of an issue. So far, the vibration is not a problem for me. The bellows, yes, it's not perfect. However, I think there could be some corrections done by Eureka to kind of alleviate some of that, whether it be a better neck portion of where the hopper kind of goes into the machine. I think that's where a lot of the air is escaping as I've kind of already felt around the machine when I'm pushing on those bellows. And I don't see any problem with some of that retention that some people are experiencing. I'm only losing about 0 .2, 0 0.1 grams uh, in, in that kind of realm. It's not enough to throw off my shots. It's not even throwing them off in, in any kind of slight variance. Um, so for me, it's working out really well. And one of the perks for me has been of how clean it works. The Atom 75, which I absolutely love, is a very, very dirty machine, especially for the single dose grinding. It does retain a lot more. I'm not using a bellow uh, on the Atom 75. I just feel that that would just be more even a mess. However, I'm using a kind of a single dose weighted system where it pushes down the beans as it, as it grinds. It's worked for me, however, both of them are kind of zeroed in. Really beautiful, rich shots from both, but I gotta be honest with you, the Oro's actually winning. I've had a few shots comparably between the two. Yeah, the Oro does taste good, and that's what I've heard so far from across the board of how good this coffee is coming out of the Oro, which makes me excited. Uh, makes me also sad because that 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 Adam 75 was really expensive as you know, but it works itself out I'm happy about that. I will give you guys a full review as time progresses Otherwise, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and visit us on Instagram. We love Instagram That's where we have our biggest following. It's Java's Jaxi Please go visit out there, check out some of the videos we've already done on Roaster Spotlight featuring some of the local uh, flavor here in my city plus across the country and around the world with these amazing businesses and roasters uh, as they kind of open up and talk about what makes their business so special and uh, what makes roasting so special. So hopefully you guys hit us up there, otherwise take care of yourselves, thanks for watching.